Is it recording? What's going on, everybody? It's me, Mr. Marco Ma, and I'm back, and I'm back with another video, and the final video of 2020. Now, this year, as we all know, it's been crazy. It's still crazy, but I'm trying to stay positive here. So what I'm going to do today is actually I'm going to pick out my favorite photos and videos that I've done either for personal project or for work. As a bonus, I'm also going to pick out my favorite wedding that I've done this year, which was very limited, but I'm still going to choose one because there's one that stands out and I like the most. So I'll show you a snippet of it. All right, y'all. So I'm going to start out with work stuff. Now, my favorite video project for work is going to be a project I did with Roostar Vietnamese Grill. So, Roostar and I kind of have an interesting story. I actually have been pretty much their fan since God knows how long ago. I was I used to work in Spring Branch, uh, um, you know, as an accountant way back when. And uh, I found this place called Vietnam Poblano, which sold like bun mees and like boxes um, with like noodles and stuff. And I fell in love with it. Their their bun mees are amazing. And um, I've been going there ever since. You know, I brought my coworkers, and then eventually they changed their name to Roostar. They went to the Galleria as a second location, and I just became pretty cool with the owners, uh, Ronnie and Linda. And so Ronnie and Linda gave me an opportunity to do a video for them and so I did a series of video and there's this one particular one that I thought was pretty cool it is um, called Roostar in the darkness so basically it's just a quick video showing pretty much like Linda in her day like day day to day like day her day to day stuff you know showing her going to work you know working out ha hang out with her, employ uh, her employees and stuff so it's one of my favorite videos, so check it out. So my favorite photo for work this year, if you know me, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know what I'm going to say. This comes with Proper. Now Proper is a creative agency um, started by a couple guys that I know. And when they told me about this potential shoot they needed to be done for one of their event promotions and they told me who it was, I was like, yeah. I'm gonna clear my calendar real quick. So my favorite photos, photo this year for work, it's gonna be the photo I have with DJ Orange Calderon. So for those of you that know me well, I've been listening to Orange for a long time. I love her sets, I always listen to her mix, and I'm, I'm just a little fangirl. So when I uh, finally met her, not only did I get a meet her I, I also got to take photos of her and a video actually too and um she's you know amazing as expected uh, great talent she already knew what to do so that photo of her in front of that mercedes is it's absolutely stunning i mean one of my favorite photos she did great i mean really i, I didn't have to do much but uh check out that photo and let me know what you think my favorite video that I've done for a personal project and come on you know what's gonna be Julie Jules documentary hello I had a whole 
mini um, private screening for this. Uh, I had a whole podcast, uh, little tiny minute segment about me and Julie, mostly Julie. But yeah, that was one of my favorite videos this year that I've done for personal. I mean, it's it was an idea I've had. I it, it just it just happened, you know, that it came. You know, it was one of the ideas that I've always wanted to do, and it just so happened that Julie, you know, had this up-and-coming status on TikTok, and she was helping um, a lot of small businesses, and I wanted to highlight that, and I wanted to talk about that, and, you know, as my first ever documentary, I was very proud of it. Now, I know there's some things that I could do to make it better, but hey, it's my first one. If I never made one, how can I get better? So if you haven't seen it yet, check it out. I'm just going to show it like a little tiny clip, maybe of Jules crying, of course. I'm going to use that, but check it out if you haven't. I think a lot of social media gets a bad rap for, you know, being very self-indulgent and just being very shallow. Knowing what I know now, and the people that I know now, I really wish I could have helped my parents' restaurant the way I do other places now. Favorite photo I've done for myself, I guess, personally. It's going to be with my dog, Mocha. I actually never had a photo shoot with Mocha. This is crazy. And it's it's been a very long time. Now, Mocha came to us in 2007. Um, just randomly, she just came in my garage. And she never left. And she's been here ever since. So she's she's quite old. She, she's been here for 13 years. But we, you know, we think she's... She was maybe one or two when she got to us, so she's like 15 now. So, um, yeah, she's still very much energetic. Um, she's amazing. Uh, I, yeah, I had nothing to say. Um, I was just really happy that I got to do this photo shoot with her. And uh, just look at how cute she is. Come on, look at it. She's amazing. She's adorable and best thing ever. Favorite wedding this year. Man, so there's not a lot to choose from, but this one was in an amazing setting. It was just, it was beautiful. It was, I just, I, I enjoyed every part of it. And this would be the wedding with um, Maria, Elena, and Scott. So she actually. I hit her. Well, my friend, she shopped at my friend's place and he gave her my information. I texted her. She was like, the wedding's next week. And I, I said, okay, like I'm, I'm down. It's a small, it was a small wedding uh, in their backyard. It was just their family. Um, just some, I think it was like 12 people maybe, but um, it was amazing. The the house was beautiful. The couple was beautiful. The wedding was beautiful, and it's just I, I just really enjoyed doing that wedding, and I really enjoyed doing the edit on that video. And uh, Marie Elena is it's very natural at the camera um, because I kind of just found out that she is uh, an actress, so she's of course used to the cameras and. Um, but other than that, I mean, it was just, it was just an amazing day, and it was um, a Jewish wedding, so I was my first um, Jewish wedding, so I got to see, you know, w w there was kind of different things to do in the wedding, and also they get to break the glass um, right after the vow, so that was pretty awesome, and yeah, I would say that that was my favorite wedding, COVID wedding of 2020. Fire 
That's it. That's a wrap for 2020. This year has been a roller coaster, ups and downs. I just started coming down, then come back up, then going down again, then back up, then down. And I'm pretty sure it's like that for everybody. But, you know, not that we're going to wake up tomorrow and everything's just going to change. There's going to be no, no pandemic or whatever. But hopefully it gets better. Hopefully, we all do well, even with with work, you know, with your passion, with your creativity, with your relationships, with whatever. Um, I am hope everyone gets positive vibes. I'm sending positive vibes out there. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more. I'm going to be shooting a lot more videos because I do have one video I need to talk about, which is this camera that I'm currently shooting with. It is not my original camera. I will not tell you what camera it is if you don't know already. Um, because I will have a video on that one. And uh, other than that, I will have a podcast that is launching. Um, I will try to launch it tonight or the 1st of January. So, Or that's tomorrow. Um, so it's going to be with me and Brian Rama. I will try to launch it tonight. If not, I will also put that in my instagram so so you guys can link it and go listen to my new podcast if you want to hear me talk that is but uh that's it that's it for 2020 um i wish everybody have a great 2021 i'll see you guys yeah we came a long way that's what the song said and i could do all things i could do all things yeah i could do all things yeah yeah